The oldest living trees in the world don't grow in a rainforest or along a misty coast. They also don't tower over the landscape or branch out in a dense jungle. The oldest living trees actually grow on top of an almost barren mountain in some of the harshest conditions California has to offer. This is a pretty horrible soil up here. This is that awful dolomite, alkaline, limestone, and it is not good for growing most things. Within the Inyo National Forest's White Mountain Range sits a small forest of almost dead, gnarled-looking trees called bristlecone pine. How old can these trees get? Well, the oldest known living confirmed tree is the Methuselah at 4,855 years. Mary Matlick is an interpreter with the ancient bristlecone pine forest, and the Methuselah tree she's talking about, the world's oldest recorded tree, is hidden to protect it from vandals. However, many of the trees in this forest are just as old and date back before the construction of the Egyptian pyramids. You gotta have a microscope to kind of really Count yes. these rings. That is their survival, is, is that slow growth. That very slow growth is due to the harsh climate and poor soil. Very few plants or animals can live up here, and that's the way the bristlecone pine like it. It mainly keeps out the competition, because they have to grow slowly, they need their time, they need their space. Professor Edmund Shulman was the first to count the rings on the bristlecone pine and discovered the world's oldest tree in 1957. It's a non-clonal tree, so it grows from a seed. To be clear, there are older tree species in the world, like the 9,500-year-old spruce tree in Sweden, but that tree is a clone, meaning the original tree fell over and grew a genetic duplicate from the roots. Bristlecone pines can't regrow from the genes in their roots. They don't really die of old age. They die because something happens to them. And for most of them, that's root exposure. So actually, actually, this is a real tree. The seemingly immortal life of the bristlecone pine attracts people from all over the world. Bristlecone pines grow only in six states in the United States and no, nowhere else in the world. Arvidas Buinauskas is an art collector and traveler from Lithuania, and for the past 20 years, he's been admiring and trying to capture the beauty of the bristlecone pines. I love it, you know, and it's difficult to describe it, but I feel like in heaven, you know, it's like, it's like my passion. Even if the bristlecone pines were to be killed by an outside force, its twisted, wind-beaten wood wouldn't decay or fall apart for hundreds of years. The harsh, dry climate of the White Mountains preserved the tree's wood for visitors to see for hundreds of years. You become like, like a part, expand and become a part of the universe, much bigger than you are, actually. From the ancient bristlecone pine forest, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.